these are histories. These work, start with A, work their way around the archaeological material in here as well. Um, if it's about a document, it's in the room next door. Doing this here. Did you like rebind all of these? They're all so shiny. That's because they got plastic on them. Yeah, yeah that's right. Did you have to do that? Uh-huh. Wow. So this, for example, um, we have over 3,000 letters. This is part of what we're doing here. From very famous people like uh, Christopher Woodsworth, who is a professor mm -hmm. at uh, Cambridge. They're all different names, very, very famous people. And authentic letters, one of a kind. For example, um, I mean, their letters are obviously one of a kind. How did you get hold of these? And I've been doing it for years, um, years and years and years. All the big notes I haven't transferred yet, like from Liddell or Liddell and Scott, that's his letter with an autograph from him. Um, Samuel, Samuel um, um, Wilberforce, Sophie Sam, the one who did the monkey trials. Oh, that's him. Oh, okay. Um, so the, 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 the man who created the phrase, the crescent, the uh, fed fertile crescent, the Who's greatest archaeolo archaeological character, Lillard. Oh. Um, I'm looking at people you would know or may know. But how did you find them? Um, I've been doing this since my first trip to um, England. Selwyn, there's a whole college named after him in Cambridge, St. John. And so when, when I visited that college for the first time, I was talking to the librarian, which is who I ever talked to anyway. And uh, he said, so you're a real fan of, of uh, Selwyn? I said, yeah. He said, follow me. And he took me upstairs. And I opened the door, and there was 22,000 volumes all belonging to him. <laughs> and no one knows it's in, in, in the attic at uh, St. John's College, right above everybody. <laughs> Somebody's hiding out. Yeah. I'm trying to think of other names you would know, but these are all, from my perspective, very famous. The big um, ones? In, in big, the big names, yeah. I don't try to use, oh, like, here's Bunsen, who does uh, the seven-volume Hippolytus uh, work. Leiden, who's the Bishop of London. But these are all big shots. A lot of, like, um, uh, Robert Gregory is a classical scholar doing New Testament material. Paget. But you can go through, oh, the man who follows Lightfoot, um, Mool, that's, this is him. His letter. Here's, you all heard me talk about Lightfoot a lot. Mm -hmm. Here's a Lightfoot. What does it say? It says, uh, be careful what you read. Brent is watching. <laughs> <laughs> so you can see the inside. You can actually oh, look. Nice. You can see his own label on the very, very top. Mm. You see that? That's the watermark for his own. Mm. Uh -huh. And then here's his signature. He signed it as Dullum, which is Durham. That's uh, Latin for Durham, the Bishop of Durham. Oh. So that's... That's um, one of the very few and rare private collections you'll see, and we have uh, about 37 letters of his. Wow. Mm -hmm. um, I caught sweet. them when people didn't know what they were still. Ah. And so all of these... Like the garage sale find. Um, we are not, yeah, I guess. I church, mean, not church the basement more, more than yeah. you think. And like here's John Robinson, uh, historian, unbelievable. Frederick Temple, the archbishop, archbishop here, mm -hmm. uh, Benson. Uh, T uh, Talmadge is here. Abbott is here. Um, I'm just randomly picking people out. But um, Fraser. These are all biblical scholars. Uh, Boltman. Was the Fraser the same one that did the uh, anthropological stuff? Mm -hmm. Is that a different Fraser? Different Fraser. Um, Sal. These are all people from major universities and colleges. But um, I try to find, uh, all, everything is limited to a very specific period of time. You can go back as far, I think the earliest letter we have is 1604. Wow. And they move forward from there, that's all of these. We also have um, press releases. These are, press copies are only available to the press. 
and then once they're used, they're out of circulation and you can't use them, so you buy them. <laughs> mm -hmm. And so here's archbishops, let me give you a couple of real famous ones that people wouldn't think were... Um, but these are all extraordinarily famous people that in my field, which is all academic. Um, I mean, if Wikipedia knows them, you know they're important. <laughs> like Durant from the 10, 12 volume history of Durant. The mm -hmm. Left to right. Right here. Yeah. You know, that's him. He and his wife. Um, I haven't labeled these from the outside to know what they are. So where did you find these? Um, I have people in the press. Here's Martin Luther King's father. Oh, wow. okay. Mm -hmm. See, once a, once a story is in the press, the, the copyright of the press stays. And, uh... So they still own the rights to the photographs? Is that what you're saying? No, the, the press does. The yeah, that's what I mean. The they, press, they, own, they bought them. Yeah, they usually, they are, they sell. They sell rights to them in newspapers. But once they're used, you know, they have no use for them, so they sell them to the... Okay, so um, if you have these, then do you have the rights for them? No, if you were to choose to reprint they're, them? They're closed out, never to be used again. Oh. So, um, um, Ladurette, the great histor historian of Christianity. I'm sorry, who was the last one that he Ladurette, kept? he does this history, seven volume, straight ahead, the kind of, the paperbacks, one, two, three shelves down, straight going, keep walking, stick your finger out right there. Mm. That's him. Okay. Um, And I have a couple of really classic pieces that almost everybody has seen and not know that you can... Here's Bill Bright when he first started. Mm -hmm. Is that King again? No, that that's a relative of his. Relative of King, okay. Yeah, I got his brother and his father and his grandfather. Uh, here's uh, straight back there, Finnegan. There's a two-volume set of archaeology in the New Testament. That's him right here. Give me a second because there's a couple that are really iconic. So these are all people that famous. Yeah, well, yeah, but in your field, like pictures you know you've seen before. Oh yeah, the, the original. Mm, wow, my goodness. So, and you, as you go through, I just didn't know which one it's in. And there's a brilliant one of um, mm -hmm. of uh, evangelical preachers as well. I mean, just people that really make an impact, like Billy Graham. Billy Graham's the real famous one where he's like this as well. Mm -hmm. It's in his a thinking shot. Um, and then we also do a lot of, like these aren't filed yet, but these are all images, pictures that circulated on these same people. Mm -hmm. And so what we do is uh, I write the bio, but it's not integrated yet. There's the earliest woman ever ordained in the Orthodox, in the uh, uh, Episcopal Church. But um, so I take these and find them. There's, I have about 200 of these. Very, very rare, as you can imagine. Mm -hmm. I keep loading them up as I find them. So these, this whole shelf is that. Are those usable? Or are, are they those, in the same category? No, these are all way past. How do you catalog those pictures? They're all, they're all done in my computer. And then there's a printout of them. Right now, I just haven't had the time to do I mean, it. It's not alphabetical? Or? No, because they come in okay. randomly. But I always have like volume one, everything's listed by volume, so I know where everything is, but I just don't have the time to do them. Um, is your computer, should I, or should I just use mine? Um, it's probably working, but if, if you've got I it there, yeah. Out of curiosity, what do you do about like things like humidity and stuff like that? Um, for well, the most book? of these, like the ones I'm the always there, loaded yet, you know? there's, yeah. yeah, I'm worried more about that than I am about anything else. The sprinkler system, mm -hmm. uh, oh because I'd rather have a fire than, than sprinklers. Yeah. yeah. Mm. Okay, here we go.
Ja, det står jag. Han borde dra 